so welcome to linux version channel so in this video we are going to see how to copy the directory and all it contents to the another directory so as all we know how to copy the files by default the cp command copies only the files not the directors so if you want to copy the entire directory you have to use the option called hyphen or so hyphen or indicates the recursive uh, in upper or lower case you can apply the recursive option it doesn't really matter so let me show you one example uh, let me create a file so a directory by using the mkdir followed by the directory name is b1 for example my task is to copy this directory and all it contents to the another directory let me create one file inside the d1 by using the touch command touch the directory name is d1 or uh, inside d1 the file name is document so now d1 is having a file called document inside so cp is the command hyphen or is the recursive option to copy the entire directory and all its contents the directory to be copies d1 then paste it inside the default system folder called tmp so when i run this command automatically the d1 and all its contents will be copied to the temporary directory let me cancel this one uh, before that i execute the cp command without option cp the directory to be copies d1 then paste it inside then so you are getting the error right omitting the directory d1 so so this is the result you will get when you skip the hyphen or option Even now execute the same command with uh, the recursive option that is hyphen or this time all the directory and all its contents will be copied so go to the temporary folder cd term then put the ls command you will find the directory called d1 here right check the content by using cd d1 then put the ls command you can see the file right so in this way you have to copy the folder and all its contents to the directory so recursive is the option which can also be you know uh, written with an upper case that is capital or uh, which allows the directories including all of their sub directories and files to be copied got it so always make sure you use the recursive option to copy the directory and all its contents to the destination folder So in our next video, we will see how to uh, remove the directory with contents and without contents in details. Thanks for watching.